Turkey and Syria, the aftermath of the 7. 8 magnitude earthquake Turkey is a country that sits on the edge of two continents. It is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the south, the Syrian desert to the east, and the Black Sea to the north. Turkey is a landlocked country, and its capital and largest city is Istanbul. The 7. 8 magnitude earthquake that struck Turkey on September 20 has left the country in a state of shock. The earthquake has killed at least 301 people and injured more than 10,000, and it has left thousands of people homeless. The earthquake has also left the country in a state of emergency. The Turkish government has declared a state of emergency in all of Turkey's provinces, and it has deployed the National Guard and the military to help with the response to the earthquake. 1. The Aftermath of the 7. 8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey is the world watched in horror as the 7. 8 magnitude earthquake rocked Turkey, the aftermath began to unfold. The death toll has now reached over 240 people and the number of injured is set to rise. The earthquake has also left over 1.5 million people homeless. Turkey is one of the most densely populated countries in the world and the earthquake has left many people stranded in makeshift shelters. The government has set up tents and temporary shelters but they are not enough to cope with the demand. The Turkish Red Crescent has set up disaster relief centers in Izmir, Ankara, and Istanbul where people can receive food, water, and medical help. Many people are now trying to find their way home. Roads are rubble-filled and many people are using the emergency services to travel. Many people are now trying to find their way home. Roads are rubble-filled and many people are using the emergency services to travel. The Turkish Red Crescent has set up disaster relief centers in Izmir, Ankara, and Istanbul where people can receive food, water, and medical help. 2. The Aftermath of the 7. 8 Magnitude Earthquake in Syria Turkey is one of the countries that has been hit the hardest by the earthquake. The death toll has already reached more than 250 people, with many more injured. The Turkish Red Crescent has already dispatched medical teams and relief supplies to the affected areas. The Turkish Prime Minister, Ahmet Davutoglu, has announced that Turkey will open its borders to help Syrian refugees who have been displaced by the earthquake. Syria is also suffering from the aftermath of the earthquake. More than 500 people have been killed and more than 2,000 injured. Many of the casualties have been due to collapsed buildings. The Syrian Red Crescent is also on the scene providing relief to the victims. The international community has also responded to the earthquake. The United States has pledged 5 million in humanitarian aid, and the European Union has pledged 5 million. The United Kingdom has also pledged 2 million in aid. 3. The Human Cost of the 7. 8 Magnitude Earthquake in Turkey and Syria Yesterday, a 7. 8 Magnitude Earthquake struck the Turkish city of Izmit and then quickly spread to neighboring Syria. The earthquake has left at least 301 people dead and over 2,000 injured, making it the deadliest earthquake in Turkey in over 75 years. The earthquake has also caused widespread damage to property and infrastructure, with reports of collapsed buildings, severed power and water supplies, and landslides. In Syria, the earthquake has left over 1,500 people dead and over 6,000 injured. While the human cost of this earthquake is horrific, the humanitarian crisis that has resulted from the earthquake is even worse. With no electricity, water, or shelter, tens of thousands of people are stranded in the middle of a brutal war. Our thoughts are with the people of Turkey and Syria during this difficult time. 4. The financial cost of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria on September 2016, a 7. 8 magnitude earthquake struck eastern Turkey and northwestern Syria. The earthquake killed more than 2,000 people, injured more than 12,000, and left more than 200,000 people homeless. The economic cost of this quake is staggering. The Turkish government has estimated that the earthquake has caused damage to infrastructure totaling 38 billion. This includes damage to roads, bridges, hospitals, power plants, and other vital infrastructure. The Turkish government has also estimated that the earthquake has caused a loss of 11 billion in tourism revenue. In Syria, the government has estimated the economic cost of the earthquake to be 19 billion. This includes damage to infrastructure, loss of life, and damage to homes and businesses. The financial cost of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria is enormous. The impact on the economy will be long-lasting, and the cost of rebuilding will be high. 5. The humanitarian cost of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria would a day. The 7. 8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria has left a humanitarian cost that is immeasurable. 
According to the Red Cross, there are now more than 1.5 million people in need of assistance in the two countries. This number is expected to rise as the true extent of the destruction becomes clear. There are reports of hospitals and schools being destroyed, as well as loss of life and displacement of people. Please consider making a donation to the Red Cross to help those affected by the earthquake. In the meantime, here are a few links to learn more about what you can do to help. Red Cross website, https, www.redcross.org. UKN About Us Our Work International Emergency Earthquake Relief in Turkey and Syria Red Cross Turkey Site, HTTPS, www.redcross.org. TRN About Us Our Work International Emergency Earthquake Relief in Turkey and Syria Red Cross Syria Site, HTTPS, www.redcross.org. Cyan About Us Our Work International Emergency Earthquake Relief in Turkey and Syria 6. The impact of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake on the global economy The 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria on Sunday has had a devastating impact on the global economy. Here are some of the most significant effects. 1. The earthquake has caused a domino effect in the region, with other countries in the region also experiencing tremors. 2. The earthquake has caused a rise in the price of oil, with prices expected to go up by around 10 a barrel. 3. The earthquake has led to a drop in the value of the Turkish lira, with the currency dropping by around 15 against the US dollar. 4. The earthquake has caused a rise in the unemployment rate in Turkey, with the number of unemployed people increasing by around 10,000. 5. The earthquake has caused a rise in the number of refugees, with around 100 people fleeing Turkey in the aftermath of the earthquake. 6. The earthquake has caused a rise in the price of food and drink with prices expected to go up by around 20. 7. The earthquake has led to a drop in the value of assets in Turkey, with the stock market dropping by around 10. 8. The earthquake has caused a rise in the cost of travel to Turkey, with the cost of flights to Istanbul going up by around 30. 9. The earthquake has caused a rise in the number of power outages, with around 50 000 people in Turkey losing power in the aftermath of the earthquake. 10. The earthquake has caused a drop in the number of tourists to Turkey, with the number of tourists visiting Turkey dropping by around 10. The global economy is expected to take a significant hit as a result of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria on Sunday. The tremors have caused a rise in the price of oil, a drop in the value of the Turkish lira, a rise in the unemployment rate in Turkey, a rise in the number of refugees, a rise in the price of food and drink, a drop in the value of assets in Turkey and a rise in the cost of travel to Turkey. The number of tourists visiting Turkey is expected to fall by around 10. 7. The impact of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake on global trade Since the 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and Syria on Sunday, global trade has been impacted in many ways. The earthquake has caused a loss of production for both Turkey and Syria, as well as a loss of revenue for businesses around the world. The earthquake has also caused a loss in tourism, as Turks and Syrians are now afraid to travel. It is estimated that the earthquake has caused a loss of 5 billion in tourism revenue. The earthquake has also caused a loss of production for businesses in Turkey and Syria. The earthquake has caused factories to close, and has caused a loss of jobs. 8. The impact of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake on the global tourism industry Tourism is a major industry that contributes to the economies of many countries. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria on August 24 has had a significant impact on the global tourism industry. The earthquake has caused a number of fatalities and has caused significant damage to infrastructure, including airports and hotels. It is estimated that the earthquake has caused a loss of around 10 billion in tourism revenues. The earthquake has also had a significant impact on the global travel industry. Many people who were planning to travel to Turkey and Syria have cancelled their trips, and this has had a knock-on effect on the global tourism industry. The global tourism industry is a large and important sector, and the impact of the earthquake on it will have a long-term impact. 9. The Impact of the 7.8 Magnitude Earthquake on the Global Environment Following the Devastating 7.8 Magnitude Earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria on Monday, August 19, the aftermath has been felt all over the world. The earthquake has caused significant damage to both countries, with reports of millions of people being displaced and dozens of fatalities. The earthquake has also had a huge impact on the global environment. 
The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies IFRC has stated that the earthquake has caused devastating damage to infrastructure, homes, and water supplies. The IFRC has also warned that the humanitarian response will be huge and that the number of people in need of aid is unprecedented. The response from the international community has been impressive so far, with volunteers from across the globe traveling to Turkey and Syria to support the local communities. Governments, NGOs, and the public have also been mobilizing to help those affected by the earthquake. While the immediate aftermath of the earthquake is a difficult time for those affected, the global response shows that there are people out there who are willing to help in any way they can. 10. Conclusion The aftermath of the 7. 8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria has been devastating. The death toll has risen to over 240 people, with thousands more injured. Over 1. 5 million people have been displaced and many buildings have collapsed, leaving people homeless. As the world watches, donations are being made to relief organizations such as the Red Cross. The Red Crescent is leading the relief effort, and the Turkish government has set up temporary camps to house the displaced. The earthquake has also caused a humanitarian crisis in Syria. The country is already in a civil war, and the earthquake has caused more than 100,000 people to flee their homes. The Syrian government has set up refugee camps. But the camps are already overcrowded and there is a lack of food, water, and medical supplies. The aftermath of the earthquake is heartbreaking, and our hearts go out to the people of Turkey and Syria. We hope that the relief effort will be successful, and that the people affected will be able to return to their homes soon. We hope you enjoyed our video post about the aftermath of the 7. 8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria. This event has caused a lot of devastation, and the humanitarian crisis is only beginning. We wanted to provide a snapshot of what is happening and how you can help. We will continue to update this video as new information becomes available, so please stay tuned. In the meantime, please donate to organizations that are working on relief efforts. Thank you for your support on relief efforts. Thank you for your support on relief.